Law 1. Anybody suspended in space will remain in space until made aware of its situation. Yeah, my name's Andy Holden and uh, I've made a film called Laws of Motion in a Cartoon Landscape, yeah. which I was showing here at Mocha in Toronto. Uh, the film I developed for about, it was about five years. So I started in about 2011 and finished it in 2016. And uh, the premise is that the world is best understood now as a cartoon. And therefore the golden era of cartoons, so sort of uh, early Walt Disney, Chuck Jones, Max Fleischer, so 1920s, 30s and 40s, Bob Clampett and Tex Avery, these people, their, their cartoons were a premonition of the world that we now live in. And the world is best understood through cartoon logic. So my idea was by looking at how cartoons worked, we might, might show us something about how the world works now. So in the way that the, the world sort of operates at the speed of a cartoon chase sequence with almost cartoon-like villains and the dominant mode of communication being uh, wild exaggeration. And uh, so cartoons have, a, but they have a kind of intrinsic logic to them, which is what I wanted to work out. So for example, law one is anybody suspended in space will remain in space until made aware of its situation, which means if you walk off a cliff, you don't fall down until you look down. When you look down, then you fall down. Um, and this could be used as an interesting way of understanding quite a lot of the moments in contemporary politics and economics, be it the 2008 banking crash or Brexit or these kind of um, moments where we collectively look down and realize, oh, there's nothing below this. This thing is, can collapse and it does collapse. So uh, through the film is made by chopping up about 300 clips from cartoons um, into s tiny little chunks and then also cutting up a lot, another lot of cartoons, but taking out the characters to leave just the background. And then I've made an animated version of myself who then narrates this sort of cartoon of a lecture from inside the cartoon landscape. Um, that was the final thing that made the piece work for me. I was doing it as a talk, and then I realized the premise was if the world was a cartoon, how was one to navigate this landscape? Well, you have to become a cartoon character. So I was like, oh, I have to animate myself and make myself into a cartoon character, and then cartoon me can anim uh, narrate, can narrate this. I think of it as, um, yeah, as a lecture on cartoons, but it's also a cartoon lecture. I think it's sort of delivered at the speed of a cartoon chase sequence.